wherever there is need, there we go. Daughters of Divine Love is really a special congregation. Whoever that is in need, the daughters go out of their way to help. Bishop Godfrey Mary Paul Okoye founded the congregation in 1969 during the Nigerian Civil War. The congregation has grown into over 900 sisters. Across the world, Daughters of Divine Love do different ministries. We join in the ministry of God in our different apostolates. Some of us are in the schools, some are in hospitals, some are in domestic work, social work, pastoral work. We minister in 16 countries, especially in places where life is difficult. There are children who really need education, and you have no means of water, and there is no light. For them to come to school, you have to go get them, you have to give them clothing, you have to feed them, supply them with materials, and then the child comes to school and is not asked for school fees. Sometimes you are, you are forced to maybe consider this person more in need. You give, and the other person you say, another time. You feel bad because this person might also need it as much as these other people that have gotten it. It touches your spirit that you are not able to help everybody. You are sent to a place where there is no medication and you see somebody who is sick, you will like to give the injection or to give the tablet, but you don't have the means. It's painful. The sisters, they were really very good for us uh, growing up. They taught us how to be kind and generous and forgiven, how to love, how to respect. Their vocation was really shining forth uh, from their lives. My earliest memory was the Nigerian Biafran Civil War. About one million children starved to death. Daughters of Divine Love held us on until the war ended, but I am a living testimony of the benefit of what they can do. Whatever people give to us, we don't even use it for ourselves. And that is why it is very, very important. Without the help of the people, we cannot do this. If somebody is educated and becomes a better person, if somebody is about to die and the sisters were able to resuscitate the person with medication and it's your money, you are the one actually helping to do it. And not only that, you are fulfilling what the Lord has said. Love God and love one another. I always promise people, just mention to us you want this money to sponsor a family to make sure they feed or to make sure a child gets education or make sure somebody gets treated in the clinic that money will go to a place of your choice come and join us and spread love to people who are suffering <laughs>